The UH Board of Regents is listening to community members who have concerns over the recently proposed management rules and resolution for stewardship of Mauna Kea. More than 100 people attended the hearing. Jen Boniza is in Hilo and has the latest. Jen? Joe, the Board of Regents has listened to more than seven hours of testimony today. I'm told there's still a handful of people that have yet to give their testimony. Many of the community members expressed their concerns over points outlined in the resolution on stewardship of Mauna Kea, and many others have even asked the Regents to totally reject the rules that have been proposed. The community has waited decades for UH to develop these rules as well as for UH to properly manage Mauna Kea. Right now it is unknown what they will do, whether they will push for the rules or whether they will defer. Reverent moments of silence. Moving moments of melee or song. And moments of anger and frustration. Thank you. Mahalo. Thank you. Okay, everybody, listen. You know, we uh, we want to get through this. We want to hear all of your 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 opinions and your beliefs, and we respect all of you for that. We're interspersed in the hours of testimony presented before the Board of Regents. There were some in favor of adopting the proposed administrative rules. I support the rules. I've watched them evolve. I think the UH has been responsible in trying to respond to the criticism of the rules. Um, and we ultimately need them to be able to manage the mountain. Others expressed concerns about access and restrictions. The rules continue to make it difficult for cultural practitioners to be on the Mauna, uh, to exercise our rights freely. Greg Chun, the executive director of Mauna Kea Stewardship at UH, says the rules do not require a permit. It just asks groups larger than 10 to register so they know they're there. If you want to come up, it's not a, we're not going to say you can't come up to do a cultural practice. We've never said that. He says that simply helps them limit the human impact on the resources they are charged with managing on Mauna Kea. If the regents vote to adopt the rules, it fulfills an audit requirement dating back to 1998. For a university to put a set of rules that don't work at all in place just creates yet another thick layer on the onion that will have to be peeled back eventually. I'm told that the decision made here by the Board of Regents will not impact the ongoing demonstrations at the base of Mauna Kea, the area that has been blocked by the Kia'i since July. The Pu'uhonuo Pu'uhuluhulu is not an area that is controlled or managed by UH. As for the Board of Regents, once they finish their testimony, I'm told they will likely take a break, and when they reconvene, they will discuss each of the points, point by point, going through the resolutions. They will have the opportunity to approve, defer, or amend, but I am told that they are expected to reach a decision at some point tonight. Live from UH Hilo, Jen Boniza, KH12 News.